There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another random DOS game show. And this is Centipede. Select number of players, one. And uh, we'll go for amateur level. Okay. We are at the bottom of a forest. And it's a creepy forest with random insects and stuff. And you have to kill the insects and stop this marauding centipede from coming down. And if you uh, kill the centipede, uh, it sort of spawns like tree-like things that you can use for cover. And uh, you can go up and down. Or you can just sort of sit at the bottom like I do, you know. And you don't want those bug things to touch you. And they can be killed for extra score. But yes, we've uh, we've nearly wiped them out. Come back here. No. Ah, he's near the bottom. I was just about got that bug as well. Now I'm in trouble. I'm in real trouble. I missed my shot. He's gonna get me. Here he comes. Ah! Devastating. Okay, let's try that again. I failed at the first hurdle. What an amateur. They're not doing so well here either. So yeah, that's that's the goal of Centipede. It's, it's like a top-down shooter of sorts. And you can use these uh, mushrooms or trees or whatever they are for cover. I clearly shot you there. Oh, collision detection. Boo! Hiss! <laughs> there. Got him for extra score. Now, to take out the remaining segments of a centipede, surely. There's one. And you see they bounce off the, uh, the little tree things. Now, the colour palette has changed. And, oh no! A dropping thing. And it got me. It got me. I really, really should have dealt with that. Oh well. How embarrassing. I think I've said that before, actually. But, you know, if you don't get it, it just drops off the screen. It's not a big deal, you know. It's these boys you don't want to hit. And the centipede segments. At least I think they're centipede segments. They might just be evil insects that are all swarming at once. Oh, look at that. I've got almost all of them, but... Oh, there's too much going on. Got a lucky shot there, actually. A very lucky shot. And I just avoided that bug thing. But it's getting harder now. It's getting more difficult. And I played uh, a lot of top-down shooters in my time. And you'd think... <laughs> that I'd be better than this. <laughs> and the problem, of course, is... They're going down layers because I haven't cleared away all the, uh, all the things. Uh-oh. Oh, that shot wasn't what I needed, and he got me! <sighs> Devastating. It's game over. Your score is one of the top ten. Type your name. Lonnie. Look at that! I'm at the top ten in the amateur level. Uh, let's play again. Okay. Uh, I could probably play this endlessly. It's just so addictive. And, uh... Those of you who actually, you know, pay attention to the titles and the brackets and stuff will know that this comes from, like, way back. This is like the, the 80s or something. 70s, maybe even. I think it's the, the early 80s. Might be wrong about that. It's older than me, anyway. Uh, just hiding in the corner there. Yep. Ah. Oh. And there's a little bit of input lag, I think. Come on. There we go. Whew. Relief. <laughs> and I spoke about this in a recent video. And it's how these games lived or died on uh, their gameplay. Oh, I got one. Sweet. And another. I'm not going to get that one. But... I have found a sort of cheat, I guess. 
<laughs> if you just keep shooting, uh, it slows the game down a bit. That works for me. <laughs> but you can see the uh, the increase in uh, whether they're trees or mushrooms. I don't know what they're meant to represent, but it's not my problem, man. Well, it is. Don't know why I said that. It is your problem, Lonnie. Because look, he's he's creeping down the levels too quickly. He's gonna he's gonna get to the bottom. Oh, I missed him. Oh. Come on! Yes! Oh, that, that was a close one, unfortunately. Very close. So, I need to take out as many of these boys as possible. But as you can see, the, uh, the increase in the number of mushrooms, and they regrow over time, and, you know, when you die, means that this centipede at the top, I think it's a centipede, or just this horde of insects, is coming down faster. And you've got to focus on getting them while also avoiding those damn things that are the other colour. What is that? I don't know, but... Oh, look! They've, they've found a way through. So, it must do some weird power-up thing that uh, causes them to just drop straight down. So you have to be on your tippy-toes, so to speak, when you hear that sound from the PC speaker. It's like, yeah, there it is. I need to kill that, but because there's too much in the way, I can't get it. Fortunately, all the little, little insecty things are ahead of that. So, its little portals or whatever aren't going to affect me this round. Come on. Oh, Lonnie. I'm glad it doesn't have a shot accuracy percentage. Oh, I didn't get him. Uh, I can just ignore that and focus my fire on this without that thing getting in the way. Yes, got them both. <laughs> uh, can I get that? No, not quite. Oh, look at that. There's no way I'm going to... All right, they drop down and then... Ah, I see. They go back up. So you just have to avoid them. Sort of, kind of, maybe. Can I do that, though? Uh, just about. Yes, got him. And you're probably thinking, yeah, okay. That's nice, you're enjoying yourself, but there's like... There's no graphics. <laughs> there's minimal sound. I mean, there is graphics, but they're very, very limited. And there's almost no sound. So why, why are you having so much fun? The, the answer should be apparent. It's because it lives or dies on its gameplay. And this gameplay is superb. Like, it's timeless. It's like if you were to sit down and play Tetris. Or Pac-Man or whatever, you know? Now, you see all those red arrows? That means I'm totally screwed. <laughs> oh, it got me! It got me! My poor space bar is dying at the minute. Right, I'll play a little longer. I mean, I, I could play this for 20 or 30 minutes or whatever, you know? Horrifyingly addictive. Look at them just swarming down on me there. Stop it. There, I've knocked them down to two. I want to get that slug thing. It looks like a slug. Die. Thank you. And then it's just that wee boy left to go. But can I get him? No, he's being evasive. He's coming my direction. Ah. Oh. And I was so focused on him that I died from the, the other thing. So let's have a look at see how I did there. Yes, much, much better than uh, last time. But I'll leave it there because nobody needs to see me play Centipede for 20 minutes. As much as I could. It will feature in my top 25. I do this every so often. I have like a game like say Centipede or Galaxian or something from like the, the late 70s, early 80s. That is just pure arcade fun. I stick it in there because honestly if you're not that interested in graphics or sound and you just want a sort of almost a neural interface between you and the gameplay directly with almost no distractions then these old DOS ports of arcade games are glorious if done right you know I know there's there's a number of them out there 
I did a video recently about a floppy disk and fitting as many games, as many good games as possible on there. And Centipede was on there. I played it and enjoyed myself. And I played it again and enjoyed myself again. There's there's probably some features and some interesting game mechanics that I missed out on there. But it was fascinating that a game that is probably 40 years old now, maybe older, can just have your undivided attention. And I'd recommend it to everyone. It's like one of those games where you have to play it. It's like if you've never played Tetris, you've never played Mario, you don't know who Sonic is, you know. You should definitely give Centipede a go, if only to see what those programmers from way back in the day could do with so little memory and so little space. And if you'd like me talking about DOS games, old or not quite as old, I play all types of games on the channel. Hundreds of videos on there, feel free to take a look. And if you like what you see, you can subscribe. And if you could beat my centipede score at amateur level of 17,603, well, to be honest, that's most of you. But my patrons would do a much, much higher score than everyone else. Because they are masters of gaming. You could be too. Until next time.